certified school, so we have full ownership of all the data. Students will also be meeting their teachers via live synchronous classes. There will be a teacher-student one-on-one online consultation every afternoon to ensure that students have clearly understood the lessons. Though classes will be performed through an online platform, GTIS will still be using physical books, which will serve as a tactile reference for the students in this digital world. GTIS will also be offering more than 100 extracurricular classes through our Canvas learning platform. Painting class, Korean language class, Spanish class, English pronunciation class, and photography class are some to mention. We've also partnered with Amazon, Microsoft, Google, DataCamp, GitHub, and Stack Overflow to bring the best tech education to all of our students. We have access to industry experts from Fortune 500 companies and universities like Duke, Cornell, and California Institute of Technology. Isn't that great? But how will a parent know if their child is learning through this online platform? As a parent, you'll be able to see the activities and assignments due for the week. You'll be able to monitor the scores of each activity submitted. Parents will receive an email from us regarding the child's class performance, like uncompleted work, upcoming work submission, and class activity, such as announcements, assignments, and questions recently posted by teachers. During this pandemic, students have the right to receive quality education in an online platform. Good Tree International School is here to give you a quality education that rises above the online education standard. Good Tree International School. Learners today, leaders tomorrow. Enrollment for school year 2021 to 2022 is now ongoing. Enroll now at enroll.mygtis.com.
end of the school year is always an exciting time. It is both an ending and a beginning, for it warms memories from the past and big dreams for the future. You are right, sir. This is one of the most important events that we must celebrate, for this is the time to receive the fruits of all our labor. I also believe that this event is just the beginning of another milestone that our graduating class will about to face. Good, Good morning, morning, everyone. everyone. We, we welcome, welcome you all to this momentous gathering, gathering our 2021, 2021 virtual moving up and commencement exercises with a theme, Sulong Edukalidad, Innovation, Agility, and Synergy. This far-reaching event will not be made possible without the help and guidance of our Almighty God, which is the author of everything that happens in our life. As to formally start, may I request everyone, even those who are watching at home, to please rise and acknowledge the presence of our God. May I call on Ms. Monica L. Villasencio, Preschool Advisor, to lead us the invocation. Let us bow down our head and feel the presence of our God. Good and loving God, we thank you for the completion of another academic year and for giving us the opportunity, short though it may have been, to play a part in the lives of our students and our new graduates virtually. We are grateful for your guidance and love as we shared in this important work. Please bless and guide our graduates as they reach this end and as they chart new beginnings. May what they have learned by being here with us allow them to truly be leaders someday. Please help them to use all that they have learned here to make the world a better place, to serve others in true solidarity and kinship, to seek ways to help the poor the marginalized, and those who are suffering, and to always seek the greater good. We know that some of them will experience pain and hardship, and we know that some of them already have, and we ask you to grant them solace and strength. Finally, Father, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to build our community with these children, young men and women, while they are here especially the senior high school. Though they are leaving our campus, we know that they will always be with us as part of Good Tree family. And we ask that the bonds that have been created here remain strong despite any distance. We ask all of this in your name and in the name of your son, Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Thank you, Ma'am Monica. Please remain standing for the singing of National Anthem to be followed by Patriotic Pledge, Pledge to the Philippine Flag, Pledge to the Christian Flag, and Pledge to the Bible by the selected students. I love the Philippines. It is the land of my birth. It is the home of my people. It protects me and helps me to become healthy, happy, and useful. In return, I'll heed the counsel of my parents. I'll obey the rules of my school. I'll perform the duties of a law-abiding citizen. I'll be a true Filipino in thought, in word, and in deed. 
pledge to the Filipino flag. I am a Filipino. I sincerely pledge my allegiance to the Philippine flag and to the country it represents with honor, justice, and freedom. Exercised by godly people who are nature-loving, humane, and patriotic. Pledge to the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom we stand. One Savior crucified we sin and coming again with life and liberty for those who believe. Pledge to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible. God's holy word, I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide each word in my heart that I might not sin against God. Thank you. You may now be seated. To our distinguished guest of honor, excellent GTIS administration, assiduous faculty and supportive staff, parents, completers, and graduates. Ladies and, and gentlemen, gentlemen good, good morning. morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. It's been a privilege on our part to become today's Masters of Ceremony. You're right, ma'am. It's really an honor for us to be this day's moderator in this very significant and historical event in this institution. And most especially to our graduating class this year. Allow us to introduce ourselves. I am Christian Costa. And I am Lovely Joy Domio. And, and we, we are, are your Masters, Masters of Ceremonies. Ceremonies. This year became a challenging year in both parents, students, teachers, and all stakeholders in education. For we are facing an uncommon situation in our teaching learning process. You're right. For this year, we experience a great battle in education, especially in the mode of delivery, which is the online distance approach. It is also a big challenge in making strategies for educators just to reach and provide one of the basic needs of the learners, which is quality education amidst this pandemic. But despite of those struggles we've experienced, still we came up into an end in which we successfully finished a school year. And another milestone has been achieved and looking forward for another stepping stone for our graduating class to achieve their goals in the near future. Absolutely right. For this day moving up ceremony and commencement exercises, we are celebrating to recognize, of course, the effort of all stakeholders in education, our completers, and most especially our dear graduates. And of course, this will not be made possible without the acting teachers at home, which are their parents. An anonymous quote says that, Graduation is only a concept. In real life, every day you graduate. Graduation is a process that goes until the last day of their life. If you can grasp that, you will make a difference. I definitely agree with that. For you don't really have to wait for this day to consider that you are a graduate. Because every day that we are facing something, as we conquer and succeed with it, we can say that we graduated. To give his opening remarks, may we call on our very own founder and school director, Reverend David Jong. Let us give him a welcoming round of applause. Congratulations to you all, to your parents, families, and supporters, students. I am sure you miss your school, your classmates, and your teachers. I miss you all too. This year was really a tough time for all of us. I know this challenging school year has developed your computer skills and knowledge. I want to tell you that I am really proud of you and your hard work. Your hard work brought you here today. After today, you graduate will be facing a new stage in your life. And our other GTIS students will be taking a vacation. No matter what you will be doing, stay strong, work hard, and never give up. Be humble in the eyes of the Lord and be compassionate to others. People will respect you not for your grades, 
but for your character and the way you treat others. This is why I am very proud of our GTIS students. You are molded with character and with bravery and kindness. Class of 2021, congratulations again for your achievement today. Be proud of yourself. Don't forget to tell your parents, thank you, mama. I love you, papa because they gave you a beautiful opportunity to study in Guthrie International School. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend. Wow, that's a wonderful message from Reverend. Let me ask you a question, ma'am. How does it feel when you move up on a stage and experience being a graduate? Hmm, I felt the time mix of emotion where I am proud of myself, not because of the achievements I received, but because of the accomplishing, uh, accomplishing a step in my student life. How about you, sir? Well, same as yours, ma'am. But I think nothing can describe the priceless moment when you see that your parents are proud of all the achievements that you will receive. I also believe that this is the same feeling that our proud parents are feeling right now even though we don't have the face-to-face -face graduation ceremonies. Am I right, parents? You are right, sir. That's why let us ask our parents who are watching this moment if you are proud of the achievements of your child. Please comment on the section below saying congratulations, the name of your child, and why you are proud of him or her. Again, if you are proud about the achievement of your child, please comment in the comment section below. Congratulations, the name of your child, and why you are proud of him or her. Wow, thank you, ma'am. Trying to look at the comment section right now, I can see that our parents are very proud on the achievements of their child. Thank you once again, parents. We know how proud you really are at this moment of time. Of course, we wanted to know also how our graduates feel today because we have an exceptional way of celebrating this ceremony. So students, please show through your comment how do you feel right now as you will be declared as graduates in few minutes. So again, students, please show through your comment how do you feel right now as you will be declared as graduates in a few minutes. I can see now uh, the comments from our students. They are really proud of all the achievements. Thank you once again, our grade 10 completer and our dear grade, uh, grade 12 and grade 6 graduates. To present our candidates for completion and graduation, May I call on our diligent head teacher, Ms. Casey Lynn Domingo and Reverend David Jong to declare them officially as completers and graduates for school year 2020-2021. I am pleased and honored to present to you the candidates for graduation and completions this school year 2020-2021. For Kinder 1, consisting of one boy and five girls for kinder two consisting of three boys and four girls for grade six eight boys and 12 girls for completers consisting of 13 males and 13 females senior high school students abm strand consisting of six male one female Gas strand, two males and two females. Stem strand, eight males and six females. Reverend? By the authority vested in me of the Department of Education, you have completed the basic requirement prescribed by DEPED K-12 basic curriculum. I now confirm you graduate for school year 2020 2021. Congratulations.
Thank you, Ma'am Casey and Reverend. Congratulations also, graduates. It is an honor and privilege for us to present to you the 2021 batch of completers and graduating students. Congratulations, completers, graduates, teachers, and dear parents. This event is a worthwhile ceremony because inspiring thoughts will be given by a person who succeeded in his field of endeavor. To introduce our guest of honor for today's commencement exercise, may I call on our diligent head teacher, Ms. Kaiseline C. Domingo. To introduce to you our guest speaker for this event, he is the president of 4U Scholarship Foundation, Korean Internet Mission Society, chairman of the Youth International NGO Foundation, advisor of the Azerbaijani Korean Society, executive director of the World Korean Trade Association, a doctor of missiology, director of Los Angeles World Mission University, Director of Suicide Prevention Experience Director of Global Business Academy Director GBMBA Director of the Academy Dean of CMU Graduate School of Mission Management As for his notable works, he published 10 books He appears in Korean Broadcasting Station In the Era of Global Success And in the Era of Success in KTV Let us welcome our distinguished guest Reverend Dr. Wong Seop Choi. Let's give him a round of applause. 안녕하세요. 구트리 학교 학생 여러분의 졸업을 축하드립니다. 졸업하는 학생과 그동안 수고하신 부모님, 일가 친척, 그리고 교장 선생님, 모든 선생님을 주님의 이름으로 축복합니다. 오늘 졸업식인데도 팬데믹으로 인하여 한 자리에 모이지 못해 가슴이 아픕니다. 팬데믹으로 인하여 학부모와 친척 그리고 교장 선생님과 모든 선생님께 위로를 드립니다. 오늘의 졸업식을 오랫동안 기다렸을 텐데 팬데믹으로 인해 아쉬운 마음입니다. 다시 한번 축하드리면서 축하의 메시지를 보내드립니다. 긴 시간 자신의 꿈을 위하여 지식을 쌓고 지혜를 만들고 소양을 가꾸면서 공부하느냐 수고하셨습니다. 학창시절의 공부가 인생 공부의 전부가 아님을 학창시절의 성적이 삶의 행복 전부가 아님을 학창시절의 인기와 명성이 미래의 영원한 스포트라이트가 아닌 것을 그저 좋았던 일들은 좋은 추억으로 남기고 그저 안 좋은 일들은 그대로 잊고 버려서 더 멋진 미래를 만들어 가고 더 훌륭한 인재로 나아갈 수 있기를 바랍니다. 누군가에게는 학창시절의 공부가 삶의 지식과 지혜로서 가장 기억에 남고 누군가에게는 학창시절 대회 활동이 사회로 향할 발판을 마련해주는 지름길로 남고 누군가에게는 학창시절 수학여행과 현장학습 그리고 축제와 같은 순간들이 바쁜 일상을 마친 뒤 떠올리기 좋은 청소년 청춘의 일부로 남게 될 것입니다. 그 추억이 더 멋진 미래를 만들어 갈수 있게 해주는 소중한 보배가 될수 있기를 바랍니다. 배움에는 끝이 없다는 말이 있습니다. 살아가는 것 자체가 교육이자 시험의 연속입니다. 어쩌면 우리가 학교에 다니고 공부를 하고 시험을 보는 것이 우리가 사는 사회에서 익숙해져야 하는 예습이 아닐까 싶습니다. 비록 학업을 모두 마쳤더라도 사회에서 더 다양하고 더 재미있고 더 유익하고 훌륭한 공부를 잘할 수 있기를 바랍니다. 학창시절의 모든 배움들이 결코 쓸모없는 것은 없습니다. 학업과 공부가 삶을 더 개척하기 위해 준비해가는 단계인 만큼 졸업은 
사회로 세상으로 나아가 개척하기 위해 출발하는 단계입니다. 개척을 위해 준비한 지난 시간들이 삶의 일부로서 큰 원동력으로 나아갈 수 있기를 바랍니다. 어떤 이는 지식을 넓히기 위해 대학교로 어떤 이는 넓은 세상으로 나아가기 위해 사회로 또 어떤 이는 자신만의 꿈을 이루기 위해 작은 공간으로 다시 돌아가겠죠. 어떤 이들이라도 어떤 길이라도 자신이 원하고 자신 있어 하는 곳에서 잘 나아갈 수 있기를 바랍니다. 졸업을 축하하면서 여러분에게 성경의 몇 사람을 소개하고자 합니다. 먼저 아브라함입니다. 아브라함은 도전의 사람이었습니다. 하란을 떠나 가난까지 가난 길이 도전의 길이었습니다. 하지만 아브라함은 도전을 멈추지 않았습니다. 그래서 아브라함은 위대한 믿음의 소유자가 되었습니다. 두 번째는 야곱입니다. 야곱은 삼촌 나반 밑에서 무려 20년을 일했습니다. 하지만 불평을 하지 않았습니다. 그 결과 아브라함은 위대한 스타트업 인물이 되었습니다. 야곱은 하나님이 주신 자기의 방법으로 수많은 양을 생산하였습니다. 그리고 세계 최초의 스타트업 1인자가 되었습니다. 셋째 요셉입니다. 요셉은 이집트의 총리를 하였습니다. 그 당시나 지금도 외국인이 나라의 총리가 된다는 것은 쉽지 않습니다. 요셉은 하나님께서 성공시켜준 사람입니다. 요셉은 최고의 글로벌 리더입니다. 넷째 바울입니다. 바울사도는 텐트를 만들면서 복음을 전하였습니다. 바울사도는 텐트 디자이너였으며 텐트를 만드는 전문가였습니다. 이 시대는 전문인이 필요합니다. 하나님께서 여러분에게 주신 다양한 달란트를 활용하여 글로벌 전문가가 되시기를 바랍니다. 사랑하는 졸업생 여러분, 여러분은 국가를 위해 기여하십시오. 여러분은 국민을 위해 기여하십시오. 여러분은 이웃을 위해 기여하십시오. 더 나아가 하나님의 영토를 확장하는 일에 여러분은 모든 것을 전념하시기를 축복합니다. 잠언 3장 5절에서 6절의 말씀을 드리면서 말씀을 마치려고 합니다. 너는 마음을 나여 여와를 신뢰하고 내 명철을 의지하지 말라. 너는 범사의 그를 인정하라. 그리하면 내 길을 지도하시리라. 이 말씀을 평생 기억하고 살기를 졸업하는 학생 여러분에게 부탁을 드립니다. 다시 한번 여러분의 졸업을 축복합니다. 여러분을 키워주신 부모님을 축복합니다. 여러분을 지금까지 가르쳐주신 교장선생님과 여러 선생님을 축복합니다. 감사합니다. Thank you, Reverend Choi, for that very motivating speech. Once again, let us give him an appreciation through sending comments and a virtual round of applause. Thank you once again. May I invite once again our very own school founder and school director, Reverend David Jong, to be on stage to give the Loyalty Award. Loyalty Award will be given to the faculty and staff who became loyal in serving the institution for five years and above. Plaque of recognition is given to Ms. Caseline Domingo. Allow me to read the content of the plaque and rec of recognition. Good Tree International School Incom Incorporation Loyalty Award This plaque is hereby given to Brian Abundo for his continued hard work, dedication, and significant contributions to Good Tree International School and for extraordinary loyalty over many years of service given this 29th of April 2021 Signed by Reverend David Wan T. Jong, School Director.
plaque of recognition is given to Mrs. Charmin Marie Aniasco. Plaque of recognition is given to Miss Monica Villasencio. Plaque of recognition is given to Michelle Abundo. And lastly, plaque of recognition is given to Christian Costa.
Charles Kettering once said, High achievement always takes place in the framework of high expectations. I do agree with that, ma'am. And I also believe that passing through elementary, high school, and even in college is considered to be one of the greatest achievements. Let us now proceed to the awarding ceremony. The graduating class will receive the awards based on the following distinctions. An honor student must obtain gold medalist, must have a general average of 95% and above, and must obtain 85% in all subjects, including character grade in every quarter, and must attend all school activities. For the silver medalist, a student must have a general average of 93% to 94%. For bronze medalist, a student must have a general average of 90% to 92%. For the academic achievers, the student must obtain a grade of 82% in all subject areas, including character grade in every quarter and a general average of 87% to 89%. For the Rector's Choice Award, he or she have the highest general average in the class. Meritorious, meritorious award is awarded to the student who possessed the most outstanding values or skill in the class. For special award, it is awarded to students who exhibit the most competent skills in the class. Awards are as follows. People, nature, body, picture, music, and self-smart. Achievement Award is awarded to the student who excels in the quarterly extracurricular activities. And lastly, Wizard Award is awarded to the students who excels in the extracurricular activities in the last week of our online class. And to award the Conducts, Medal for Academic Excellence Awards, Honor students and special awards, may I call on the respective advisors of our graduates and completers to present the award. To start with, may I call on the advisor of grade 10 completers, Ms. Emma C. Cabulao. It is my honor and privilege to present to you the awardees of grade 10 grace School year 2020-2021. Abdon Lance Andre M. Most behave. Avellanoza Sean Armand Yu. Most honest. Gatdula Billy B. Most polite. Hokinio John Mark O. Most humorous. Tabernal Mark Luis E. Most neat and clean. Osman Almater V. Most thoughtful. Vigilia Ayan Miguel C. Achiever. Most considerate and an achievement awardee. Ahos Christine Jane F. Achiever and most responsible. Kasili Chelsea Nicole L. Achiever and most diligent. Abidin Abdullah Nur A, Silver Medalist, Most Dependable and an Achievement Awardee. Dapito Angel Collins V, Silver Medalist, Most Courteous and Award Wizard Awardee. Igual Cyril Joyce S, Silver Medalist, Most Artistic and an Achievement Awardee. Dikinyon Rob Eugene A. Gold Medalist, Self Smart, Writing Wizard Awardee, and an Achievement Awardee. Ispadilia Ejimar Von R. Gold Medalist, Most Inquisitive, and an Achievement Awardee. Flores Emmanuel R. Gold Medalist, People Smart, and an Achievement Awardee. Moscosa Anthony Jr. G. Gold Medalist, Body Smart, and an Achievement Awardee. Arbuleda Roda Riana I. Gold Medalist, Music Smart, and an Achievement Awardee. 
Arma Mary Joy B. Gold Medalist, Most Enthusiastic, and an Achievement Awardee. Baldonado Maria Isabel Yunis P. Gold Medalist, Most Punctual, Sketching Wizard, and an Achievement Awardee. Buen Pauline T. Gold Medalist, Best in English, Best in Science, Best in Mathematics, a Typing Wizard Awardee, an Achievement Awardee, and the Director's Choice Awardee. Hilutin Joan Nicole A. Gold Medalist, Most Determined and an Achievement Awardee. Javier Hanna A. Gold Medalist, Picture Smart and an Achievement Awardee. Madonza Faith E. Gold Medalist, Most Motivated and an Achievement Awardee. Molina Dainty Eliza F. Gold Medalist, Nature Smart and an Achievement Awardee. Nazareno Nash Leia V. Gold Medalist and Most Sociable. Soriano Karen Kizaya S. Gold Medalist, Most Dependable, and an Achievement Awardee. Congratulations, my dear students. So now may I call on Ms. Monica Villasencio to present the awardees of, of Pre-Kinder and Kinder. I am proud to present to you the awardees of Pre-Kinder Pupils. Ong Owen Craig N, Bronze Medalist and Music Smart. Alcover Elizabeth Shane A, Silver Medalist and Nature Smart. Espiritu Karin J, Gold Medalist, Body Smart and Best in Science. Pareja Joey Margaret A, Gold Medalist, Best in English, Picture Smart, and the Director's Choice Awardee. Retoriano Francesca Gian V, Gold Medalist, People Smart, and Storyteller Awardee. And Vinarao Maria Janela May C, Gold Medalist, Best in Math, Self Smart and the Writing Wizard. Congratulations, Pre Kinder! And now I am proud to present to you the awardees of Kinder Pupils. M. Jungtek M. Bronze Medalist and Most Improved. Busiko Elisha Rain D. Silver Medalist and Picture Smart. Rodrigo Alia Carlis M. Sil Silver Medalist and People Smart. Bechaida Zoroaster A. Gold Medalist, Best in English, Music Smart, and the Director's Choice Awardee. Ugay Isaiah Renz B. Gold Medalist, Best in Math, and Body Smart. Andaya Caitlin Kaina C. Gold Medalist, Nature Smart, and Awesome Attitude Awardee. Obad Thea Claire D. Gold Medalist, Best in Science, Self Smart, and a Writing Wizard. Congratulations, Kinder! And now, to present the awardees of Grade 6 pupils, may I call on Ms. Kay Ann DeChosa. It is my honor and privilege to present to you the awardees of Grade 6 Humility. Alagasi Alrish Jami A, Most Determined, Word Wizard and Loyalty Awardee. Imperial Jacob Joshua A, Most Behaved. Villano Leon Jed Adrian C, 
Most Sociable and Achievement Awardee, Adiyogan Sabina Lorraine M., Nature Smart and Achievement Awardee, Agravante Alexandra Isabel I., Most Inquisitive and Loyalty Awardee, I, the Chavez Irish Jade A, Music Smart and Sketching Wizard Awardee, The Clerk Zoe Angelina A, Body Smart and Loyalty Awardee, Lakdao Daniela May, Most Thoughtful, Lee Mina, Most Enthusiastic and Achievement Awardee, Nefalar Alisa Faith M, Most Artistic, Achievement Awardee and Loyalty Awardee. Padua Nicolai Isabel Grace T. Most Talented. Bamba Jeto Morris R. Bronze Medalist, Picture Smart and Achievement Awardee. Sisista Paolo Miguel C. Bronze Medalist, Most Disciplined and Achievement Awardee. De La Roca Carlos Yuan T. Bronze Medalist, most Responsible and Loyalty Awardee Makasire Joseph Miguel C. Bronze Medalist, Most Dependable and Achievement Awardee Garcia Jean Lee, Bronze Medalist and Most Generous Sibayan Andre Gabriel Q. Silver Medalist, Picture Smart, Loyalty Awardee and Achievement Awardee Galliano Naomi A. Gold Medalist, Most Diligent, Achievement Awardee, and Writing Wizard Awardee. Pama Samantha Shello O. Gold Medalist, with Highest Honor, Best in English, Best in Mathematics, Best in Science, and Director's Choice Awardee, Achievement Awardee, and Typing Wizard Awardee. Lastly, Reyes Luis Gianna A. Gold Medalist, People Smart, Loyalty Awardee, and Achievement Awardee. Congratulations, my dear students. And now may I call on Mr. Christian D. Costa to present the awardees of Great Wall Responsibility. In behalf of Ms. Nelreya C. Grapani, it is my honor and privilege to present to you the awardees of Grade 12 Responsibility School Year 2020-2021. To begin with the meritorious awardees, Amogis Jairo, Most Polite. Gajana Brian Martin M., Most Inquisitive. Galliardo Chris, Most Considerate. Respecia Joshua Collin, most humorous. Tolentino Athens Greece A. Most athletic and athlete of the year. Choi Dawon. Most creative. Alcaraz Rafael P. Achiever. Most creative. Uh, I'm sorry. Most polite and achievement awardee. Angeles Angel Angel Lee M. Achiever. Most determined and achievement awardee. Barles Nico P. Achiever and most neat and clean. Borja Enrico Jose C. Achiever, most responsible and best in accountancy, business, and management strand. Corridor Ronnie A. Achiever, most punctual, sketch, sketching wizard awardee and achievement awardee. Lopez Ken Alejandro D. Achiever and most thoughtful. Mercado Sebedilu P. Achiever and most persistent. Tayo Brian Anthony E. Achiever and most enthusiastic. Aguilar Rochelle A. Achiever, most dependable and achievement awardee. Fernandez Jessica Jade B. Achiever and most sociable. Dapito Dan Carlos V. Bronze medalist. Most Motivated and Word Wizard Awardee. De Chavez John Paul, Bronze Medalist, Most Behaved and an Achievement Awardee. Calosa Laika Denise L, 
bronze medalist, most disciplined, and best in general academic strand awardee and an achievement awardee. Chan Elisha Don M. Bronze medalist and picture smart awardee. Villanueva Harriet Luis T. Bronze medalist, self smart, writing wizard and achievement awardee. Kate Maria Criselda L. Silver medalist, music smart and best in immersion. Guarino Micaela Gwenki A. Silver medalist, nature smart and achievement awardee. Velitario Jaisal May G. Silver medalist, people smart and achievement awardee. And last but not the least, Edic Francis B. Gold medalist with highest honor, body smart, best in immersion, best in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics strand, and typing, typing wizard awardee. Thank you and congratulations, graduates of batch 2020 to 2021. Mabuhay! Congratulations, our students, most especially to all the people who became part of your success today. On behalf of our beloved institution, Good 3 International School, we are very proud of what you achieved today and may there be success at every turn point of your life. And may all your dreams become true. Now, let us hear and be inspired by the response from our graduates through the graduate with the highest honor. Let us welcome Samantha Shello O. Pama. Let us give her a virtual round of applause. Good morning to the class of 2021. I would like to express my appreciation to Reverend David Jung, the school director, Ms. Caselyn Domingo, our head teacher, Ms. Kay Andechosa, our advisor, to all of the teachers, classmates, parents, and everyone else who made this event possible. From the start, I always try my best to be an honor student. For I know that our parents persevere to earn money for us to be able to study. And in my opinion, one of the ways to repay their hard work is to have good grades. That way, they will be happy that despite their efforts, it bears a good result. The medals that I will receive are the result of my efforts. I will not be able to achieve this without the support of my parents. To my teachers for the dedication and patience for teaching us. Teachers, I have learned a lot of things from you which I will value until the end. To my fellow graduates, we have end a challenging chapter of our journey and a new one will begin new challenges to face, and new friendships to form. As we progress to the next grade, many may change and others may remain unchanged. We will continue to grow and move to bigger and brighter things. But before saying goodbye, let us give thanks to the people who mold us to what we are. To our beloved parents, Thank you for your sacrifices and for your undying support. Please continue leading us to the right track. To our teachers, thank you very much for the opportunities you gave us to develop our skills. To our friends and schoolmates, we are about to part ways and the memories we shared together will be cherished. Lastly, let us give honor and gratitude to the people who mold us to what we become. Let us continue to chase our dreams and be an inspiration to others. Once again, congratulations everyone. Thank you, Samantha. We hope that your fellow graduates are inspired and be motivated by the speech you delivered. Congratulations once again. Another enlivening and powerful thought will be given by our grade 12 with highest honor. Let us hear his challenges upon reaching this peak. Let us hear it from Francis B. Eddick, 
Let us welcome him with a deepening round of applause. To our beloved school director, Reverend David Jung. To our approachable assistant school administrator, Sir Faith Jung. To all, to all our hardworking, competent teachers, loving family, good friends, supportive guests, and most especially my fellow graduates. My warmest greetings and hooray to our success. I am honored to stand in front of you giving this speech commemorating the memories and accomplishments of our wonderful class, Grade 12 Responsibility, Batch 2021. I thank God for this achievement and to all of you who became my inspirations to reach my success in senior high. Our years of studying at Goodyear International School comes to an end, but this doesn't mean that our journey of honing success stops, but rather, it is the start of creating a difference. I remember back then, it wasn't easy. I could not forget my chaotic time to look where my room was when I had a hard time to deal with my classmates, to the teacher's lessons, and to the Christian environment I became part, which was very far from my previous grade level. But I could say, my perspectives changed and broke the thought of difficulty into perseverance. Perseverance, one of the key elements in my success, and maybe in yours as well. During the time of pandemic, I was hesitant to enroll as a grade 12 student because of the thought of whether I could handle it or not. There were big adjustments and stressful situations I have faced. However, I chose to persevere and I've learned that this wasn't something to be handled alone. There were those people who motivated and pressured me because they just wanted to know and discover my best. I realized that it's my family and few people who gave me challenges. There were also those good friends who were my comforter, ready when I needed to unwind. Our senior high school years were like a roller coaster ride. Not because we didn't have our share of ups and downs, but because of the plot twists we've encountered over the years. I'd like to see a hand raise. Who inspired to become successful? Who has the thought of not giving up? How empowering! That is spirit we need. Perseverance makes us to continue studying because we have the goals and dreams to reach. Yes, we may sometimes experience disappointments, poor grades in our assessment, cries over research, stubborn attitude, and shallow reflections. But because of our perseverance, we manage also to correct our mistakes and realize that actions have an impact on our success. I remembered most of my classmates said, Ayoko na, bahala na. But their actions said otherwise. It is because there's always been a good teacher who will always say, Kaya mo yan. Thank you and sorry to our dear teachers. I, on behalf of the graduating class, give our sincere respect and gratitude to all of your efforts. To my fellow graduates, whom I shared my priceless experiences in high school, let me grab this opportunity to thank you for being good friends. To my service tropa and bro by heart, Jaro Amogis, thank you for the countless road trips when I, whenever I needed to unwind. To Angel Angeles, thank you for an unexpected help sometimes. To Ronnie Corridor, for being my backup artist because we all know that that art is my weakness. To Don Carlos Dapito for spending time to hang out just to reconcile with me. To John Paul De Chavez 
Thank you for the unexpected close friendship and your hard work in our research paper. To Ken Lopez for being my commuter companion after, after the school play practice. To Brian Tayo for your contagious smile. To Criselda Kate that I admire because of her confidence when speaking. To Elisha Chan that gives the best visual in our class. To Jessica Fernandez, for your reminders in our group chat whenever our president is not yet around. To Micaela Guarino, who's also an inspiring medical personnel, thank you for the notes. To Jaisal May Villitario, for the une unexpected close friendship we've had this school year. For being with me in everything, especially when I need someone to have a procrastinator body. To Harriet Villanueva, when I needed someone to suggest in our school works. To Nico Barles for the unexpected trips. To Enrico Borja, also one of my bros. Thank you for being in good friendship and service also. To Brian Gajana, my boy ethics. Thank you for the life advices when I needed them the most. To Chris Gallardo, thank you for the Mobile Legends sessions. To Colin Respecha, thank you for the entertainment we didn't know we needed. To Athens Tolentino, whom we seldom see, but thank you for be bringing the pride to our school whenever and wherever you compete. To Rachel Aguilar, for lending us your phone whenever we take selfies. To Rafael Alcaraz, for the trips and school activities we've worked on together. To Luke Mercado, who at first I thought was the coldest person, but not so. Thank you for the friendship. To Laika Denise Calosa, one of the best sisters I've ever had. Thank you. To Dawon Choi, who I rarely meet in class, but has the beautiful smile when speaking. Most importantly, I would like to express my deepest and sincerest gratitude to my family for not pushing me too hard, for their encouragement, and for being sensitive and understanding on what I feel. To my tita, who knows me so well, for standing by my side and defending me in times of need. To my tito, who always reminds me not to be lazy and dependent. My fellow graduates, all our hard work, sweat, and tears resulted in this wonderful graduation. Let us applaud one another once again. Congratulations and to God be the glory. Wow! Thank you and congratulations, Francis. I really felt how you reached this end. All through this school year, everyone must be grateful for all the things that happened, despite the circumstances we have. To deliver a Thanksgiving message from our graduates, let us hear it from Maria Criselda L. Cate, with highest honor. Let us give her a round of applause. Before I move to my next chapter, I want to think about and remember all the pain and all the laughter that will be with me forever. This message I wrote to those people who taught, to those people who support, to those people who fought but more to the Creator above for all the grace thereof, for lessons I'm proud of and all lives I'm part of. Ladies and gentlemen, a blessed morning to all of you. First, I'd like to give my deepest grat appreciation to the people who made this event possible, to our dearest Reverend, Rev. David Jung, and his ever-supporting -support family, to the diligent teachers of Good Tree International School, to the hardworking staff, coordinators, and organizers, to the patronizing parents and visitors, and of course, to the persevering students. Please know that without you, we will not have the opportunity to commence this graduation ceremony. I am a believer of destiny, but I am a more believer of hard work. But all the hard work is not possible if not for the people who are always at my back. So I give my sincerest gratitude to my parents. I am nothing without you. Thank you for all the support 
You give me in every step that I take and every decision that I make. Thank you for giving me the best you can provide all the time. I may not say this all the time, but I'm very much grateful that you both are my parents. So for every sacrifice you make for us, please know that it is deeply appreciated. This past year has been a challenge for all of us. Some of us struggle every day just to accomplish the task we had for that day. But I reckon the heroes of this online learning, none other than our teachers. So to all the teachers who fought for the students' future despite the pandemic, I give, I give my profound gratitude and recognition to you. I myself have witnessed how you accommodated all your students with all your might. So I say this with all my might too. Thank you, teachers. <laughs> my dear educators, for our advisor for this year, Ms. Nel Grapani, thank you for your constant reminder and patience for all of us. Ms. Caslin Domingo for teaching us research, even though it's hard for most of us. Thank you. For Sir Christian, forgive us for not understanding what to teach most of the time, especially calculus, but thank you for your dedications and your teachings. For Ms. Pa for Ms. Fao Mosa, thank you for your biology lessons that caused me to love it even more. For Ms. Emma Cabula for believing in us. For Sir Brian Abundo, even though you don't talk a lot, we received guidance from you when we were in grade 11. For Ms. Monina Garcia, thank you for your stories. For Ms. Kadis Chosa, thank you for helping us in our research. For Sir Faith Jong, thank you for being such an inspiration in your teachings of, about entrepreneurship. And for, my, and for all of my teachers, it is my honor and to have the opportunity to deliver our gratitude to all of you. Almost, almost two years is a long time, but I feel like it passed like a blink of an eye. I can still even remember the first day of class like it was yesterday. And the people whom I've encountered will surely leave memories with me. I want to thank all of my friends and classmates for treating each other well this past years. Surely, if we had face-to-face -face classes, we will, like we had last school year, would have made a lot more gala and yayaan. We would have skipped more pra play practices. Sorry, sir, see? We would have more pares and kapipisa. We would have more overnights. We would have played Go Fish and Pusoy Dos more. We would have more jamming and music sesh by the ladder. We would have witnessed more arguments between us. We would have complained about the aircon altogether. We would be giving our phones as per instructions from the office. Or would we? Never. My advice though is to turn off your form, foam alarm. But since we had online learning, we didn't. Nevertheless, all these are reasons for me to keep you in my hippocampus. I give my heartfelt gratitude to you, my friends and my classmates, for imparting me with such memories and lessons. Before I end, I want to share you a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. For this step we take is not the end, but the beginning of our future. Thank you and good morning. To God be the glory. Wow. Thank you, Criselda, for that heart heartfelt gratitude. I really, uh, I really felt how sincere you are in delivering your message right now. One of the principles that must be shown by our graduates is the spirit of sincerity and faithfulness. To state their loyalty to their alma mater, may we call on Andre Gabriel Q. Sibayan, a silver medalist awardee from our grade 6 graduate. Pledge of loyalty to the alma mater with the guys of 2021 do solemnly pledge that we shall always be faithful to the ideal and principles to our alma mater, that we shall be loyal and true to, in thoughts, words, and deeds to the good to international school, that we shall always keep alive to our quest for the truth of our motto, aura, fights, and perseverance to honestly achieve our noble goals in life, to serve God and our country, so help us God. Thank you, Andre. Graduates, always be a part of your alma mater 
who molded you to be a better person and a future leader of this nation. Always remember the mission and vision of this beloved institution. And now, to give her closing remarks and announcements, may we call on once again our school head teacher, Miss Caseline C. Domingo, and lastly, to be followed by Reverend Christian A. Madonza, our school pastor, to lead us the closing prayer. For school year 2021 to 2022, our school offers the following. Early bird promo. We have a 1,000 discount from the tuition fee and this promo is until June 16. You can visit enroll.mygdis.com for more information. Another is a referral privilege. A 1,000 pesos less tuition fee will be given to a parent who will refer a student to enroll in our school this coming school year. Next is the summer classes. Summer break here. Let's make your quarantine more productive. Good Tree International School is now offering online tutorial classes starting on May 17th to July 16th, 2021. This will include three hours of daily classes. Sharpen your skills in science, math, and English. Find out more at mygtis.com forward slash summer. Enrollment for school year 2021 to 2022 is now ongoing. Enroll now at enroll.mygtis.com. We offer also a one-on-one -on -one tutorial. This amount of, for amount of 3,000 pesos per month. The date of release of card and yearbook is on May 31, 2021. And lastly, the first day of classes for school year 2021-2022 will be on August 16, 2021. Once again, thank you very much. Congratulations, graduates. Mabuhay! Congratulations, everyone. This is the time to give back all the glory to God. Let us pray. Our gracious and loving Father in heaven, we want to thank you for your kindness in our lives. Despite the pandemic, you did not abandon us. Instead, you helped us so that we could finish this year safely and successfully. We would also like to thank you for the wisdom you have given to our teachers and school administration. Because of this, our learning has been meaningful and we have learned a lot. Thanks also to our parents who patiently helped our learning and provided for our needs. Give them the strength and good health. Finally, we want to praise you for your incomparable greatness and grace that you have experienced with us, especially this most challenging time in our lives. I just ask, Lord, that you continue to give us strength, protection, and help for us to overcome this pandemic and that you provide the solution to this problem. I want to give back all the glory and honor to your name. It's all we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Ma'am Casey and Pastor Christian. Now, this ceremony is about to close. In behalf of this school, I would like you to remember and cherish always that this is just the beginning because you are a star in the making. Shine on! Also, we would like you to always believe in yourself. Make smart choices and be committed in fulfilling your goals. When you meet them, it will increase your confidence by multiple times. Once again, Congratulations, dear graduates, batch 2020 to 2021. May God bless you all. Truly, another chapter in this journey has been closed. Whatever your next steps, we encourage you to use all the learnings and put God above all. To our, our dear, dear graduates, graduates parents, parents, faculty and staff, GTIS administrators, Thank, Thank you for, for all the hard work and sacrifices you bestowed all through this school year. Above all, we, we thank, thank God for making this success happen. Once again, I am Lovely Joy Domio. And I am Christian D. Costa, your, your Masters, Masters of Ceremonies, now signing off. Congratulations and God bless us all. May I call once again our very own school director, 
Reverend David Jong to give his closing remarks. What a great day to end the school year. You, the hardworking, supportive parent. You, the student who gave the absolute best in your virtual classroom mastering lesson. Our incredible teachers who had a sleepless night in order to design the lesson. At Guthrie International School, we are continuously committed to be a positive influence to all of you. Thank you for being with us today, and we look forward to seeing you again soon in our vacation tutorial class or few months later in our new school year. God bless you all. Summer break here. Let's make your quarantine more productive. Good Tree International School is now offering online tutorial classes starting on May 17th to July 16th, 2021. This will include three hours of daily classes. Sharpen your skills in science, math, and English. Find out more at mygtis.com forward slash summer. Enrollment for school year 2021 to 2022 is now ongoing. Enroll now at enroll.mygtis.com. It's been a year since the pandemic started, and we're now embracing a new education system. As schools struggle to continue conducting classes through outdated platforms, Good Tree International School is ready for the new education system. GTIS offers different modes of learning that are accessible and beneficial for the students. We'll be using various platforms to deliver our modules, quizzes, and activities. This will be accessible through laptops, PCs, smartphones, and tablets. For the privacy of each student, we'll be conducting classes through Microsoft Teams. We're a Microsoft certified school, so we have full ownership of all the data. Students will also be meeting their teachers via live synchronous classes. There will be a teacher-student one-on-one online consultation every afternoon to ensure that students have clearly understood the lessons. Though classes will be performed through an online platform, GTIS will still be using physical books, which will serve as a tactile reference for the students in this digital world. GTIS will also be offering more than 100 extracurricular classes through our Canvas learning platform. Painting class, Korean language class, Spanish class, English pronunciation class, and photography class are some to mention. We've also partnered with Amazon, Microsoft, Google, DataCamp, GitHub, and Stack Overflow to bring the best tech education to all of our students. We have access to industry experts from Fortune 500 companies and universities like Duke, Cornell, and California Institute of Technology. Isn't that great? But how will a parent know if their child is learning through this online platform? As a parent, you'll be able to see the activities and assignments due for the week. You'll be able to monitor the scores of each activity submitted. Parents will receive an email from us regarding the child's class performance, like uncompleted work, upcoming work submission, and class activity, such as announcements, assignments, and questions recently posted by teachers. During this pandemic, students have the right to receive quality education in an online platform. Good Tree International School is here to give you a quality education that rises above the online education standard. Good Tree International School. Learners today, leaders tomorrow. Enrollment for school year 2021 to 2022 is now ongoing. Enroll now at enroll.mygtis.com.